reciprocal of something is just the fraction flipped over. fraction flipped over. And it's a pretty simple thing. Make sure you have some notes because a fraction flipped over may not mean anything to you so much. But uh, the reciprocal of two-thirds just means you just turn those numbers around and you make it three halves. That's all it is. It's, there's nothing easier than reciprocals. Uh, the reciprocal of one-eighth is eight over one. The reciprocal of three-fourths is four-thirds. Now, here is a thought thing here. If you multiply, if you multiply a number and its reciprocal together, what do you get? Let's look at this. If I multiply these numbers together, 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 2 is 6. If I multiply these together, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 1 is 8. If I multiply these things together, you get 12 over 12. If you multiply any number by its reciprocal, what do you get? Peter? One. One. Because that's what all these fractions mean. You ate six sixths of a pizza, you ate one pizza. You ate one pizza, you ate one pizza. Okay? Now, a couple things. First of all, what would be the reciprocal of seven? What would be the reciprocal of the number seven? Jacob? 7 over 1? No, that's what the number 7 actually is. Oh, 1 over 7? Right. 7 over 1 is 1 over 7. Any whole number you make a fraction by putting it over 1, 15 over 1, its reciprocal is 1 over 15. Yes, so if it's a whole number, you, um, you just imagine like a wedge around it? <laughs> or put it down. You don't even have to imagine it. You can actually do it. Yes, Alexa? No, you just write the reciprocal. You can just write the reciprocal. That's fine. Now, here is one thing I want to show you, though. This is where a lot of people get confused because they don't. Uh, two things they're going to ask you. First one is this. If they ask you how many two-thirds are in one? The answer to that is the reciprocal of two-thirds. Okay, how many two-thirds are there in one? In other words, they're asking you this. Two-thirds times what number is one? How many two-thirds would you multiply together to get one? And we just said, we just, the whole reciprocal thing was a number and its reciprocal will give you one. So the answer to this is, Kelsey? Three halves. Three halves. Okay. <laughs> or if they give you something that looks like this. Um, seven eighths times what number is one? If you see that empty box sort of thing there? Yes. You end up with seven? Eight over seven. Eight over seven. So watch out for those two things. If they ask you this question, anytime you see a fraction and the number one put in the same problem, odds are they're just looking for a reciprocal from it. Okay?